Shazam is a delightfully hilarious film and I am glad to say after the success of Aquaman, DC have another hit film on their hands with Shazam living up to the brilliance of the film prior, that being Aquaman, and I would say getting very close to Wonder Woman. It is something truly unique, something truly different, and moving from a horror-centered background to the land of superheroes, director David Sandberg delivers a vision that is full of fun, heart, and humor that is a must-watch for everyone. It is delightful. And so Sandberg, like James Wan who directed Aquaman before him, has directed many horror films in the past, such as Lights Out and Annabelle Creation, which were both really well received. And so there is this weird track record of horror directors moving into superhero films. Richard Donner, the director of the original Superman film, actually made The Omen a few years before, which is supposedly one of the best horror films of all time. Then he made one of the best supposed superhero films of all time, that being Superman. So there is a weird connection, but it works and it's worked every time. And so the film combines genre with a mix of horror actually in Shazam and comedy, action and adventure, which is a big reason why Shazam is such a big success is it's not bound by superhero tropes and it's allowed room to breathe and become something arguably greater than just, you know, a standard superhero film. So, like I said, we're just going to briefly just go over a quick synopsis before we get into the full review. And so, we follow Billy Batson, played by Asher Angel, who is a 14 year old kid and he's been from foster home to foster home and he's eventually brought to this group home after escaping all of his past families and so one day when he's helping his new foster brother Freddy who is played by Jack Dylan Grazer he is chased down a subway only for the train to stop at the wizard Shazam's cave and Billy is essentially chosen as champion magically transforming into the adult superhero Shazam so he's played by Zachary Levi when he's older and he just needs to say the word Shazam and he turns into the superhero and so he faces off against the evil Dr. Savannah played by Mark Strong. And so that is a synopsis of the film and so going back into the review section of it, Shazam, like I mentioned, is just wonderful. It's full to the brim with a hysterical sense of humour. You'll find yourself bursting out into laughter for sure throughout the entire film. There is some absolutely brilliant moments. And it's quite different from the rest of DC, which definitely, like I mentioned earlier, reaches the levels of greatness that Wonder Woman and Aquaman really, really got to in my opinion. And so it is a great success that will please all for certain. And so Shazam has a massive heart and it welcomes you with open arms. And the family aspect of the film is truly what makes the film work for me because Jack Dylan Grazer, Grace Fulton, Zachary Levi and Asher Angel were all the highlights but especially Jack Dylan Grazer who st starred in It recently and now starring in Shazam, he's only 15 years old, has proven himself to be an absolutely brilliant actor and he steals every scene he's in, he's hilarious and especially when teamed up with Zachary Levi when he's as Shazam, you get a really amazing pair that are irresistible together and it's just so funny and I love that connection especially but like I said the family with Grace Fulton and all of his other foster brothers and sisters they are great and so the childish nature of the film is embraced I love that it is different it is something we haven't seen before this kid literally turns into a superhero that's what every kid wants to do and it's really really refreshing. It's a great vision with Zachary Levi becoming Billy, the 14 year old soul kid inside a superhero. And so the film is guided by Sandberg's direction, which doesn't overshine the story, but neatly sort of enhances all the performances in the film. And Shazam has a, actually a lot more darkness than I expected. The trailer teased nothing of that. And so there is some decapitation, which you don't obviously see, but there is some of the elements of horror that Sandberg brings along with him, which I really appreciated because I was not expecting it from the marketing. And so most of this darkness comes from Dr. Savannah, but the dynamic between hero and villain is absolutely perfect. Strong, that being Mark Strong, who plays Dr. Savannah, is very knowingly playing an archetypal villain who essentially enhances every situation because the hilarity factor of it is that 
Zachary Levi is playing a childlike superhero who is literally a 14 year old kid inside each other and there is this one specific scene where they're miles away from each other and the doctor is doing a super villain speech and they're like a mile away and it's just so funny because it's you know taking a mick out of like Man of Steel and lots of different things like that when the superhero and super villain always have these massive talks but they're actually miles away but they can all somehow hear and it's just an absolutely class scene and there are some major notably shocking twists in this film that made my audience where I was watching the film clap and whoop midway through and there is this one scene near the end where you will gasp for certain and you need to be ready for some of these secret hidden gems but like I said this is not a spoiler review this is very very non-spoilery I just sort of talk about you know the things that really worked for me and there wasn't anything that didn't work for me in this film I thought it was all really good perhaps the only like downside to the film would be the CGI but I know they didn't want a big budget on this and it's only just 90 million that's the budget so the CGI is very very usable it's not like Black Panther bad level it's pretty good but it's nothing too special like recently Captain Marvel and Aquaman had amazing CGI but this is much lower budget you have to take that into consideration and there is a much bigger focus and emphasis on story and the grounded nature of the film whilst obviously we have that superhero aspect but that doesn't matter as much in terms of CGI it's more about the interactions of these characters so Shazam is a beautiful film it is wonderful and it is absolutely hilarious and I would say it's not to be missed so thank you guys so much for watching this review if you liked it please be sure to share it around on social media because this is going up at 10 p.m uk time which is when the embargo officially drops so go check it out april 5th i know there are a few preview screenings happening for fans like if you're in england you can go to odeon if you have a limitless card you can see it a few weeks before i think it's on the 27th so four days time and in america they're showing it actually today on the 23rd which is exciting for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye